Hey guys, Break here. Welcome back to my TSM for Noobs series. One thing I didn't talk about last time was the Options tab, the second tab on your TSM interface. It's a bit irrelevant, you don't really need to change anything. You can do different profiles for your different characters. You can change the appearance of the whole interface. You can change a couple of basic things like tool tips etc but basically I would just leave it how it is. What we're going to be talking about today is groups and operations. These are the two main features of TSM. Without groups you won't be doing anything on Trade School Master and the same with operations it's basically how the whole add-on works. We'll start with the groups. These are basically just groups of items that you make. You can easily add an item to a group for example, I've got battle pets, profession stuff, transmog, and random stuff on this character. I have a lot more groups on my main account. The way in which you buy and sell items on TSM all comes down to your groups. So if you have an item in your bags which isn't grouped, TSM is not going to know what to do with it and nothing's going to happen. So basically, any item you have, any item you often have in your bags, any transmog item you want to sell, anything like that needs to go into a group. So we're going to make a group together so I can show you guys what you have to do. I'm going to call this my guide and press OK. So what pops up here are all the items that are in my bag which aren't currently in a group. I have a lot more items than this in my bag but most of them are in groups already. So I'm going to add Essence of Fire Essence of Undead, Essence of Water, Eternal Water, Large Brilliant and Large Prismatic. So once you've added the items you want, you'll notice there's some other options up here. The Import slash Export tab, this is where you can import other people's groups and use them. For example, there's a really good group called Fat Loots Transmog Group and basically he's got all of the transmog items in the game pretty much put them into a nice group so almost everyone with TSM imports that one first just press the import control V copy paste and his group will now be in your group but today I'm just making the group myself so as I said got these items in there we now need to go on to operations so once you've got a group you need to set an operation for it which is going to tell the add-on what price it wants to sell the items in the group at. So once you press on operations you'll see a lot of different features. Don't freak out. Auctioning is the main one you want to concentrate on. Crafting is a bit more confusing. It's for setting up crafting groups when you're making stuff but it's really not so important for now. Same with mailing. It's for mailing different groups of items to different characters we won't worry about that now and same for shopping shopping's quite cool because I'll then be able to search for these items and they'll quickly all come up in one tab in the auction house and then I'll be able to see what price they are and buy them if they're cheap so that's pretty useful but for now we're just going to do auctioning so I'm going to press create new operation operation name my guide sell because this is the selling operation comes up with this would you like to add this operation to my guide you say yes and there we go so again a load of new tabs come up this is you making your operation you go into post you can set the duration I want all those items in my group to be posted for so I'll say 24 post cap that's the amount of one type of item which will be up at once so I want to set it to unlimited because I don't want to cap on what I'm selling. Stack size, do I want to sell in stacks of one usually? Stacks of 20, whatever, I'll just do one. Keeping your bags, not too bothered about that. Max expires, that's just how many times it's going to not sell. Just ignore that. And then down here we've got undercut amount. You want to have that to like one copper, one silver, whatever. Don't make it too much because then you're just losing profit. Bid percent, this will show the bid price. I usually make it around 80. 
because no one's really going to bid for them. But if anyone doesn't have an auctioning add-on, if you have a low bid, it will often show up first on their auction house. So I always try and do a slightly lower bid. And if someone does bid and I don't want to sell at that price, I can always cancel the auction anyway. Okay, so last is the important part. Minimum price. This is the price that below this, it's not going to let you sell at. So I'm going to do 80% DB market. Now this DB market is really important. Try and remember this word or whatever it is. Basically that means your average realm price. Well, that's what DB market is, is average realm price. So 80% of average realm price. If the prices of these items in my group are below 80% of the average round price, it's not going to post. As you see here, when below min, don't post. Maximum, now this is the maximum price. It will go to this, you can just put really high, let's say 200% TB. Actually, like 300% TB market. And when above maximum, I usually set this to just post at normal. Now the normal price is the price it will post at if there's none on the auction house. So if there's absolutely none of my mats on the auction house, I'm going to sell them for what I want. So I'll say 250% DB market. Yeah, this posting price setting is the most important part. So basically when I go to the auction house and try and sell the items in this group, they are going to be undercutting everyone else unless it's below the min price in which case it won't post them and if there's none on the auction house it'll post at 250 percent realm average and if someone else is above 300 percent it will post at normal price now these percentages are going to depend on the type of item you're selling but i'd usually recommend something similar to this and definitely use db market i would say that's the best indicator because that's your average realm price Okay, so that's the hard part done. Go back up to this tab, cancel. You want to don't want to tick this, it's annoying. But you want to tick can you want to tick cancel undercut auctions. That means that when you run a cancel scan, which you want to do if you're selling say enchants or gems, loads of people will undercut you. That means when you run the cancel scan and you're not the cheapest, it will cancel the item. You go to your mailbox, go get it, and you then repost it. Reset, you don't need that. Relationships, you really don't need to bother with that. And management is just management. So there you go, we have done our group and our operation. So if we go back up to the groups tab, my my guide group is now here. And if we go to operations, auctioning, my my guide sell group is now here. So that's basically all you do when making a group. Type in the group name, then add the items you want to the group, then operations, auctioning, and create new operation. And there you go, you do what we just did. Another thing I will show you guys is the shopping operation. So same again, you go onto your group, you go onto operations, go down to the bottom, go to shopping, create new operation, call it my guide buy, because this is the buying shopping operation. Okay, do you want to add this guide to my guide? Add this operation, yes. Okay, so here you can set the max amount you'll pay. So when it does the shopping search, say you say 90% DB market. So only if it's less than market price, so 90% or less, will it show up in your search. Now you can also tick show auctions above max price anyway, so that will show all the auctions of items in your group, but mm, there's no point in that. If you want to set this, just set this, it will scan for this, and then it will only show you the cheap items. Again, relationships, management aren't really needed. That's all done. We have done our shopping operation, so we can go back to groups my guide operations the selling operation is here and the shopping operation is here there are a couple more slightly more detailed things you can do 
for example, you can make a subgroup. So go into management, create new subgroup, my guide sub. Okay. So the cool thing about subgroups is if you want a different operation for some different items in your group. It's a bit complicated, but let me show you an example. I'll add the chaotic spinel and deep amber to my subgroup. Same as a normal group, you go into operations. And as you can see here, currently it has my main groups operations, as we just made there and the shopping one there. But you can override this to make a slightly different operation for that particular subgroup. Lots of people do this for transmog. It's really not needed, but if you want to, you can set up your transmog with different price ranges and then the different subgroups will have, say you have a subgroup for five to 10,000 gold, another one for 10 to 20,000, another one for 20 to 30,000, and each one could have a slightly different operation. For example, the higher value items, you might wanna put a slightly lower DB minimum just to make sure they sell. Whereas the cheaper items, you don't want them to have a low DB minimum at all because you know, you want to make some gold at least. So that's something you can do if you want to really get into it. If you're just beginning though, I wouldn't bother with subgroups. I just concentrate on your normal groups. So let me now show you how these groups work. We go to the auction house. We go onto the auctioning tab. As you can see, the my guide group is now on here. So I can start post scan. This is going to find the items I put in my group that are in my bags and start looking to post them. So remember we put the 80% DB market as the minimum. So a lot of these auctions are below my minimum price so it won't post them. But a lot of them are above so what I want to do now is post, use my scroll wheel, scroll down and this is just going to post all these items that were in my group. And there we go. So now all of these are above 80%, like I say. So it's posted them and the ones that are below the 80%, it hasn't posted. Again, we made the shopping operation. So if you go to shopping, here you can see the My Guide there. We search and it will find everything in the My Guide that is below my max price. Remember the max price was 90% DB market. So all of these are below the max price. This is quite cool. You can be like, oh look, Essence of Undeath is actually going for really cheap. It usually goes for 185 gold on my server. It's now at 40 gold. So you can press buy out, scroll your wheel, and there you go. I've just bought some cheap stuff which I can resell for higher. Lastly, I'll just show you the cancel scan. So none of these will have been undercut because I only just posted them, but basically this will check for any items in your group see if they've been undercut and if they have you can cancel them go get it from your mailbox and repost like I say I just posted these so none of them are undercut so it's fine but yeah that's it guys that is groups and operations set up that's the key part of TSM it's the most complicated part but it's also the most rewarding when you get going lots of people do put their TSM groups online so you can easily download them for yourself like I say, Fat Loots has put one up. If you just search that on Google, you'll find it. You then go into import. You paste his import string in there and all of his groups and his operations will be immediately put into your TSM. So you can just cheat and use his. A lot of people have done it for loads of their groups. I don't suggest importing a load of groups because that will get confusing for you. I'd make your own groups at the start and then import Fat Loots, Transmog and a couple of others if you like. But yeah, that's it for today guys. Let me know if you found it useful and until next time, see ya!